That's the alarm that alerts Maricopa firefighters that they have an emergency to respond to. But what happens before that alarm sounds? It actually starts about 35 miles away in downtown Phoenix at the Phoenix Fire Department Regional Dispatch Center. That's where Maricopa Fire Department receives its dispatch services from. Danny Wilson, a Maricopa resident, works there. Calls come in. They're given to these uh, RACD operators who take the 911 call. What they're going to do is they're going to verify the address and the location. They're going to get a nature of the call and they're going to send it immediately. If I get a telephone call for a diabetic emergency, I can take a look right here and it'll give me questions that pertain to diabetic. Are they alert and acting appropriately? When did they last take insulin? Uh, when's the last time they had a meal? Uh, has he or she been sick lately? And then we always want to ask if anyone has anything infectious or contagious. We want to make sure we protect our responders as well. Um, we look out for our patients, but we also look out for our people. We want to make sure that they're safe in all aspects of what they do. Wilson asked some of those questions during a recent call. Okay, very good. What's going on there? Okay, is he not breathing at all? All right, do you want to attempt CPR on him? I know you said he has terminal cancer. Can we get him on the floor and at least try doing some CPR right now? Some calls can be particularly challenging, said dispatcher Joshua Donnellan. The worst or the hardest, the most difficult call I've ever taken was a check welfare. It was because it was the child calling for his mother. The mother was just intoxicated. It was a check welfare. Firefighters will respond to that. Code 2, uh, it's a very common occurrence. But the child, the way the child was reacting, and how much the situation was affecting the child, that affected me as a human. The Buckeye Dispatch Center provides dispatch services for Maricopa's police department and works in a similar way. Chief of Police Steve Stahl said the system has great radio coverage for officers. The dispatch system excels right now in the fact that our frequency is great. We have great coverage, uh, even with our partners of Gila River Indian Reservation and the Akchin Reservation. We have great radio reception in, in all of those areas. And there is a lot of times when we're assisting each other in, those, in, in responses for public safety. It's very important because some of our investigations take us into either Maricopa County or other areas of Pinal County. So it's very important that we be able to communicate back to dispatch as well as communicate with other agencies in those jurisdictions. That wasn't always the case. Before Maricopa Police Department contracted with the city of Buckeye, it received dispatch services from Pinal County. There are stories about officers standing on top of their car holding their hand up, you know, in the air to receive reception. Um, that's obviously an officer safety risk and, and one I wasn't willing to accept at the time. But that isn't the case now. Fire and police officials say they have Maricopa residents covered.